Okay, babe. Okay, so rock, paper, scissors, shoe. And if you win, you get to kiss me. Are you ready? No, I'm good. I gotta go. You're good? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's staged or not, but you know, I think that's a, at least have some fun with it. Yeah. He just pussied out like a complete idiot. Just have some fun with it. Yeah. And then just go. <laughs> Hola. No? Hey babe, what's up? Uh, I'm good. Do you have a girlfriend? What? I'm gonna walk away. You're gonna walk away? Why? Hey. What's your plans for tonight? What? Plans for tonight? Well, plan. She would have more success if she didn't look like a hooker. No. Plan? You wanna make plans with me? No. No? No, thank you. You're sexy. I know, but thank you. Oh, shit, let's <laughs> You're, you know. <laughs> What about me? For what? You think I'm sexy? Yeah. Okay. You want to get my number? No. No? no. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Sensational. That's funny because we have a question for you. All right, what's your question? Which one of us would you... <laughs> None. All of a sudden, I'm actually gay now. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry, just said you got a. We don't gotta go through all this back and forth and you ignoring me and shit. Just said you got a. That's all you gotta say is I got a boyfriend. I will leave you alone. Other than that, I'm gonna keep sliding. I'm gonna keep applying pressure. You are the backup plan. She already has a main guy that she actually wants to be with. Yeah, you are there just as a backup. And if you're not down with that. And you shouldn't be down with that. Just run away, my friend. Mistake leaving for him. I'm sorry. Please give me another chance. You could not live with your own failure. <laughs> what did that bring you? Back to me. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's there with me. Yeah, like why okay. would I take someone seriously when clearly they're yeah, not no taking one. me seriously at all? Yeah. Yeah, Especially because exactly. we're all like in our early 20s. Like this yes, is the time yes. to, to like explore and find. To get a nose job. Find yourself too. Exactly. When you say explore and find yourself, does that mean just like get run through by a bunch of dudes? Just, no. I'm, I, I just whoa, want whoa, to whoa. translate. Where did whoa, you whoa, get whoa. That? <laughs> that is exactly what they mean exactly a hundred percent yeah just try a bunch of guys see different types you know the nerdy guy the jock the fucking banker whatever i just um, like I i'm meant, just like, translating literally here. finding who you are like it has been a male ran society i mean there's been so many instances i mean think about it like the whole stereotype of men go to war women stay and kind of take care of the kids in my opinion that's patriarchy because that's kind of giving the men like this like higher role and like higher position in society but i think you can't deny that throughout history women have been oppressed this like higher role and like higher position in society I think you're a good guy. I am a good guy. Yes. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Damn. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. What is that? <laughs> let me let me just let me test those muscles one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, get in there. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you get that? You know, um, it's nice when, you know, people notice your hard work. Obviously, he's been to the gym and he's enjoying himself. But if if it was the other way around, you know, he would have been in jail because you cannot just walk around and grab people's back like that. Unless, you know, you want to do some uh, Gangnam style. What is your biggest ick? Uh, girls who say slay, slay queen, actually f off. But it's disgusting. I hate it. Alright, so uh, this woman asked men their icks, and the comments are hilarious. X is like you know when they are at the restaurant and film the food with a flash on right up close to it going past each dish slowly. Uh, birthday week clothing. 
If she's obsessed with the lives of random strangers, celebrities, YouTube couples, etc., then yeah, exactly. If she is always entertaining giveaways on Instagram, when she has a love language she doesn't practice, your love language ain't gifting when you don't gift, that's your hustle. When she's an ambassador of these, yeah, they there look disgusting. If she unbuttons her pants after eating, <laughs> poor communicators, girls who pride themselves on not replying messages, always trying to appease some friends or imaginary haters, love some pastor more than her relationship with God, posts screenshot of her being rude to people, involved in public beef on social media. Yeah, that, that, that's actually like a big red flag. All these comments proving men have no idea what an ick means. Y'all are just misogynist. Oh yeah, of course, of course we are. Ugh. A couple weeks ago I went on a date with a guy, we sit down at dinner. Literally, we just sit down and he goes, so, what do you want to know about me? That was the I'm like, okay, this date is over before it even started. I'm never going on a second date with you. Okay, it's fair enough. But what are you into? Transformers? Pokemon? You fucking child? I'm gonna be honest, bro, it is so hard when you're laying there, and I know all of you guys that are single, you, you, you're like this. It's so hard, you know, in the nighttime when you're laying down by yourself, bro, and you just got no one. A girl broke up with you, and you feel like you're the worst. You're a fucking loser, oh, yeah. like you're a piece of shit. But then you go out with your friends, and you have a few laughs, and next thing you know, you're laughing, and you're like, I'm all right, we'll be all right. And then maybe you meet a new lady. Yeah. yeah. And you learn from the last mistakes. Yeah, I know, if you're going through a big breakup, I know you feel like crap and you're doing all that stuff, but just as time passes on and you're doing an actual effort to feel better, you, guess what, you are gonna feel better about yourself and life and everything, you know, just, just get over it and just heal. And obviously you're gonna become stronger emotionally, physically, mentally. You need a job. No, I don't want a job! Well, I know. <laughs> it's so much work! You need to worry about your own mother and go back to work, bitch. 80% of the that I talk to in, in person, in real life, they have no idea that I fucking upload 2K videos and, and vlogs. You don't know that, though? I do know that. Because they ask me what I do. And I tell them I'm a fucking construction worker. Um, You know, this guy is, uh, for the guys that don't know him, he's like a YouTuber guy. And... Obviously, when you make a bit of money and, you know, your life starts getting better and better uh, and with your creations and everything, you will never know whether people and especially women will be interested in you or the money. Most of the time it's going to be in the money anyway, because you think about it. If I didn't have the money, would this person be here? And 90 something percent of the time, the answer is no. No, you're not supposed to be here. Bro, I done drove all the way in the rain. What granny cooks? Like, come on, Granny. Bro. Yeah, granny. Like, where That's did not your fucking granny. She cooks that turkey? Look, you gotta go, fam. You can't be here. You still make that song with young boy? It's coming, fam. You just, you don't worry about it. Get the fuck, get the fuck. I'm not fucking playing with you. Like, no, what the fuck You gotta go, fam. About? You can't be here. I can't be here. You know she expects me. She expects me every year. This ain't nothing bro, look, new. But what, you think you can just come walk back in my life and shit? You, you got turkey. You, you got turkey boy? at home. Yeah, she cheated, right? And now she's doing all sorts of manipulations, talking about the grandma and just being a weasel and just a disgusting snake. If she cheats, my friend, she belongs to the streets, right? 